doing this on May 23rd, 1995. Yes, this is a photo which happened, which hangs in a small museum in, a, in the town where I was born in Benjamin. Uh, by the town of Benjamin, they organize a small museum, and this photo hangs with, with a remark that this is a Jewish family between the Second and the First World War. It happened that a friend of mine was visiting the town, and they told him to go to see the museum, and he noticed this photo, and he made a Xerox copy of this photo, and he brought it to Israel, and tried to find out who is this Jewish family which the picture is of. So until it went out to my niece, Mrs. Yahalom in Israel, and she sent me a photo, a Xerox photo of this picture. And then a few months later, a fellow, a friend of mine went to Benjamin and he bought a negative for fifty dollars, and he bought me the negative, and I made photos for the entire family. This photo is taken a day after a wedding of my first cousin in 1920 in our apartment, in our dining room at Malachoskego Street in Benjamin. Malachoskego, M-A-L-A-C-H-O-W-S-K-I-E-G-O, -E number four. In this photo is my, uh, my parents, my mother, Alea Shulem, my father, Ulu Shulem, my grandmother from the mother's side, and my grandfather from my mother's side, or my brother, which is my father-in-law, and his wife, which is the parents of my wife. And then between my parents in the middle is my oldest, uh, my, one of the oldest brothers, at the left side in the second row, the last one is my brother. On the top, on the fourth row, before the elderly man is also my brother. Or uh, between uh, my mother and my wife's mother is my sister, Alta. Um, this is from my brothers and my sister. And then is my sister on the top. Near, uh, just where the mirror is, is my oldest sister, Leah, with her husband. They were killed with, the, with seven of their children. One of their daughter survived, which lives here in Forest Hills. Then are one, two, three, four, five brothers of my, of my mother with their wives. And then are two sisters of my mother that I said survived, so I made a mistake. This is five brothers which they were killed. Three were killed sending from Belgium to Birkenau, and two of them sending from Brussels from Belgium to Birkenau. And then there's quite a few cousins of mine. From the, from the picture, which contains around 49 people, five people survived. All of them, the rest of them were killed in Birkenau. Uh, on the left is my mother. Her name is Perla Gitla, P-E-R-L-A-G-I-T-L-A, -E -E uh, Rosmarin, R-O-Z-M-A-R-Y-N. Her maiden name was, is Gitla, G-I-T-L-E-R. Next to her is my, in the, is my oldest brother, Chaim. And next to Chaim is my father. His name is Mordechai, M-O-R-D-C-H-A-I. And the last name is Rosmarin. Both of them were killed in the week between the 1st of August 43 to the 10th of August 43. The individual in the second row on the left, the last one, is my brother Ezreel, E-Z-R-E-E-L, Ezreel Yosef Rosmarin. He was killed with his wife and two children in, in the week of August 1st to August the 10th, 1943, in Birkenau. The young boy on the left side and the fourth road, one before the last person, is my brother Schleimo, S-Z-L-O-M-O, -O, Rosmarin. He was married with his wife and one daughter were killed in Auschwitz or Birkenau between the 1st of August 43 
to, to the 10th of August, 1943. Now, this is my brother, uh, Berek Hirsch, B-R-E-K-H-I-R-S-C-H. The last name is Rosmarin. And his wife, which is, which is the, the second person to him, Esther, both of them survive. They were a family of, with eight children. Four children survived. They survived. Four children were killed in Birkenau between August 1st, 43, till August 10, 43. Yes, this, uh, this individual is my sister, Leia. Her married name is Rosenes, R-O-Z-E-N-E-S. Next to her is her husband, Hirsch, H-I-R-C-H, Rosenes. They were a family with eight children, both the parents and the seven children were killed in Birkenau between August 1st, 43, till August 10, 43. One child, a daughter, survived, Adela, A-D-E-L-A. She survived and lived here in Forest Hills. Yes, the older woman is my grandmother. Her name is Hannah Dvora, C-H-A-N-A-D-W-O-R-A. Gitler, G-I-T-L-E-R. The older man next to her is my grandfather, Kalman, K-A-L-M-A-N, Gitler, G-I-T-L-E-R. Yeah, this photo is taken before the war. Oh, I am the second on the left, and I survived, and the fellow, the second to the right, survived. The other three were killed by the Germans. This photo is taken, I would say, in 1900, in 30, 31, or 30. And Benjamin. This is my youngest sister. Her name is Manya, M-A-N-I-A. The last name is Rosmarin, R-O-Z-M-A-R-Y-N. She is the youngest of 10 children in our family, which the parents were killed and six of our brothers and sisters married with families were killed. She survived. She went to Auschwitz and was in Birkenau since August 1st, 43, till October 5, 44. In October 5, uh, 44, she died in, and was, was brought to the gas chamber, to the crematorium. This photo is one brother, one of the six brothers. He was married to Bella Englard, E-N-G-L-A-R-D, with two children. Both the parents and the two children were killed in, our, in Birkenau in the, in the week of August 1st, 1943, to August 10th, 1943. Can you give this one? His name is Ezreal Yosef. I, mentioned before between my brothers. E-Z-R-I-E-L, J-O-S-E-F, and the last name Rosmarin, R-O-Z-M-A-R-Y-N. Yeah, this photo is a copy of a passport sent from Switzerland from the Jewish committee to try to save Jewish people. They be became a number of people to be to get the citizenship of Paraguay. And they send it out for Switzerland to Germany for the Germans <coughs> to put in those people in a separate concentration camp for foreign people. But the German did not recognize it. <coughs> I'm sorry. And and all the people uh, they, with this passport they sent to Auschwitz. It happens that our papers probably came after I was already in Auschwitz. But after the war, I went to Switzerland and I went to the Swiss embassy in, in Bern, uh, to the uh, Paraguay embassy in Bern, and I was able to get out a copy of the passports what they sent during the war to Germany, with some photos from other people of, of the family which they did not send out passports. But this is an a copy of the original papers 
But the Jewish people in Switzerland sent during the war to the German government as foreign citizens. Mr. Rosemary, could you identify the photographs on the lower left of the, uh, of the passport, please? On the lower left on the top is my father. Next to my father is my mother. Next to my mother is myself. In the second row to the left is my younger brother, Abraham, A-B-R-A-H-M. Next to Abraham is my wife, Rachel and Lillian. Next to my wife is my niece, Lucia, maiden name Rosmarin, married name Yahalom, J-A-H-A-L-O-M. She lives in Israel. Rosemary, yes. could you uh, describe this uh, letter, please tell us what the significance of it is? Uh, this letter I got from a cousin of mine, which she survived from Belgium during the war to Cuba, and his parents used to live in Belgium, which uh, his father was a brother of my mother, so my mother has two brothers in Belgium uh, with their wives and families, and one sister also in Belgium with her husband and families. All of them were transported from Belgium to Birkenau, and they were killed in Birkenau. My cousin inquired to want to find out about his family, so he got a letter from the World Jewish Congress in Belgium, in Brussels, which the letter stated the dates when they were sent to Birkenau, with what transportation, with what train, and this is the letter from 1945 from World Jewish Congress to my cousin, which is a son of my uncles, which they used to live in, in Brussels, Belgium. Mr. Rosemary, would you describe this document, please? Oh, this is a document. I used to live in Israel till 1948, and I left Israel in 1948 in April. At that time, there was al already uh, the English army was al already uh, leaving Israel, and, and the Israeli took over, the Haganah took over. And you couldn't leave Israel without this permit, and I got this permit to leave Israel because of family sicknesses, uh, which they permit me to go with my wife to professors in Paris. So they gave us this uh, exit permit to leave Israel. Thank you. But this is a photo after 25 years after we were liberated from, from the concentration camps, we went a group to Israel and visited the, in, the, in the Israeli White House the president of Israel, which is the person on the left, Zalman Shazar. Zalman, Z-A-L-M-A-N, Shazar, S-C-A-R, Z-A-R. Mr. Rosemarin, we have here a photograph of your two surviving children, of you and your wife. One of the things that we neglected to include when we did the oral interview was what kind of work you did once you came to America with your wife when you still had not had any children in 1950. Well, when I came to America in 1950, I came with the oldest daughter. Margie was one year old, the one on the right side, and was pregnant with the second one, Annette, A N. N-E-T-T-E, -E. she was born in 1951 in America. When I came to America, oh, I took a real estate course to, to become a real estate broker. I took a real estate insurance course to be a real estate insurance. Without going to school, without knowing the language, I became a real estate broker, a real estate insurance, and another republic in the same year, 1951. I was active all the years in real estate and insurance until all the years until now. And you still continue to be? Now I, I gave up the insurance business because it's too much for me, and, and I still uh, I am in the real estate business. Okay, thank you very much. We have not yet seen a photograph of you and your wife uh, together. Can you uh, tell us about this picture, please? Yes, as you see, this is myself. To the left side is my lovely wife, and the next to me on the left side is my son-in-law, 
Avi Libor, A-V-I-L-E-B-O-R. Oh, they have a family with t uh, three beautiful children. And yeah. he's the husband of which daughter? He's the, the husband of Annette, of the youngest daughter. They live in Lawrence, Long Island. Thank you. Mr. Rosemarin, would you please tell us about this photograph? The boy, the tall boy, is our oldest grandson. He is the son of the youngest daughter of Annette Libos. A son which is getting married in three months. He will get married at the same day when my Annette will have the 25th wedding anniversary. He's getting married September the 10th, 1900, this year, 1995. His name is Michael. He's finishing college this year. The girl to the left side is Car is Lauren Hoffman. She is the, the daughter of my oldest daughter, Margie. The next to her is Karen Libor. She is the daughter of Annette, of my youngest daughter. The next to her is Daniel Libor, the youngest son of uh, my youngest daughter, Annette. The last boy to her is Josh Hoffman. He is a son of Margie, of Margaret Hoffman, of my oldest daughter. Let me wish you a mazel tov in advance for thank the you, wedding. Thank you very much. Mr. Rosemarin, you, you were able to secure this most unusual photograph, which we are going to include. Could you very quickly tell yes, us what it is? Yes, this is a photo which uh, uh, the fellow who brought me the photo with the family took a photo of the house where I was born in Benjin, Malachoskego 4, M-A-L-A-C-H-O-W-S-K-I-E-G-O, number 4. I was born there in this house, and I uh, remained in this house till 1940, when they took us, they threw us out from our apartment, and they gave us a smaller from the smaller to the ghetto. And when was this photograph taken? This was la last year. Thank you very much. You're very welcome.